Hello YouTube friends, how are you? Um, I am about to show you how to set up your Celestron 6SE telescope. In order to do that, of course, we need a telescope. So the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to show you how to set up or put down your tripod, okay? This is a tripod that comes in with your Celestron 6 or 8 SE. It's a really, really strong tripod. So the first thing you're going to do is, of course, open up the legs here. And you're going to put the eyepiece holder. I am going to show you here. There are the legs. Now I have a um, piece of advice for those that uh, use a tripod like this. Okay, you would see this tripod looks like a, just a regular one, but in fact, it's got some tape. This tape here helps me to figure out how much I want the leg to go out. Sometimes you're working with little kids, you're working with some people that are not really tall different heights so that you can set it up to whatever height you want without having to do a lot of adjustments. So right now we're going to do it like this. Gonna put it like that here and then it, that way I don't have to worry too much about the level of it unless the, the ground is unleveled. So there you have it. This is our tripod. Like I say, it's really, really strong. And um, the next part that comes into it is the mount along with the telescope. Okay, so this is how the telescope and the mount looks like. Okay, um, there's some uh, threaded holes here, three of them, and then one guide hole that goes into your tripod. So it's really, really easy. It's not that heavy. I mean, it looks kind of big, but it's not that heavy. So you set it up like this. You make sure you tie up all the bolts, all three of them. Okay. And once you do that, you're almost ready to get started with your telescope. Okay, let's just move it a little bit like that. Okay, see that tells you it's not really that heavy. I can lift it with my hands. It's really not that bad. So, let's put it like this. Okay, and then the next part will be our uh, power source. Uh, when I bought this, it came in with a kit that came uh, with power source. It's called the Celestron Power Tank and also the eyepiece set. So, I'm going to show you the power tank here. Okay, this is the power tank, okay? Um, the power tank, as you can see here, has some connections that mimic your car's lighter. There's two of them, okay? There's a 3 volt, a 6 volt, and a 9 volt uh, inlets here. There, the, this one here is for you to plug it in to be charged. Of course, when you want it on, turn it on here. It's got a really bright light. I'm going to point it to the camera. It's got a red light, which is normally used at night, so that um, you don't have any issues um, uh, confusing your sight when you're at night. It also has a flashing light. Okay. Now, um, if you wanted to use this, as an emergency uh, battery for your car, you actually can do that because it does have a couple of connectors here that can actually go into your battery and get it start, get, get your car started whenever you want to. Okay, so it's already on. Uh, inside here, there's a little cable. This is a special cable that goes into your Celestron telescope. Okay. So we're going to put it on here. You don't have to worry about tangling or wrapping around the telescope because normally you're not going to go around uh, more than one or two times when you're watching the stars. So 
we're going to do this. We're going to put this one here, and then we're going to put, we're going to plug it in. Okay. Now the telescope actually has some power. Turn on. It's good to go. Now there's another piece of advice that I want to give you here. Okay. When you're using your telescope, you're normally running it through either your power source or batteries. This one actually has a compartment for batteries and I would recommend you to put batteries in the telescope even if you have this power source. Why? Because if for some reason you're walking around, you're watching the stars, you're too distracted and you unplug it, the power goes down if you don't have a battery here. Okay, so battery compartment is really easy to access. It takes eight double A batteries. Um, you put them in there and it's not actually going to use the batteries while you're running your telescope with the power tank but if it gets connected then you won't lose any information, any setting, anything that you already have set up in the telescope which is actually really smart to do that. Okay, the next thing we're going to set up here is our scope right here. It's got a couple of screws. Just let them loose a little bit. Put them, slide them into the telescope here and then you tie them up. This, this little uh, star pointer uh, actually comes uh, with a red dot pointer. You can actually see uh, the stars with a little red dot in the middle that helps you um, find whatever star you want to while you're outside. Of course, before you do that, before you set it up, before you align it, before you do anything, you have to make sure this is sync with the telescope. That means it's pointing on the same direction because when they first come in, they're not synchronized, okay? Uh, you have to synchronize it by, uh, prefer to do it during the day. You just point a, a, at a distant pole or, or a house or something like that. And make sure that this is pointing to that house on that little red dot as well as the telescope. That tells you that they're both synchronized. Now you're ready to do some uh, alignment at night. Okay. Once uh, this is done, then you want to go ahead and put your eyepiece holder, which is this one here. This is um, a mirror, okay, that uh, switches the image uh, from the telescope onto your eyepiece, which actually helps you see whatever you're looking through the telescope upside up, I mean right side up. Um, it will be it will be a, a mirror image just like if you were looking at yourself in the mirror your left will be your right, your right will be your left and so on. So we're going to go ahead and put this here and slide it in there. cap here. Make sure you're completely all the way open and straight. Okay. Now when you're aligning, when you're performing an alignment, you want to make sure you use the biggest eyepiece that you have. Okay, that's the advice that everybody will tell you or give you. Uh, but I actually don't believe in that because it's really hard to align the telescope when you have an eyepiece that does not have a lot of magnification. So I would recommend that you, use, uh, that you would uh, probably use a, uh, I don't know, a 17 millimeter or a 13 millimeter to align your telescope. Why? Because it's going to be more accurate. The more accurate you are while you're doing your alignment, the more accurate the telescope will be when it's pointing out to different stars once it's already aligned. Okay, so um, the way you do it, it's really simple. Put the eyepiece in here. Okay. 
Okay. And then you turn on the telescope. It says initializing. Um, once you do that, of course, um, we're going to turn into the outside uh, so that we can um, align our telescope. Now it's nighttime. It's not uh, during the day. Uh, everything's set up. Try to set up your telescope while it's still uh, uh, while it's still light outside. Because uh, if you try to set it up, if you try to set it up um, when it's already uh, dark, then it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to do it. To put in the, the, the scope finder, to put in your eyepiece, your your mirror, and everything is going to be a little bit hard to to balance the, the tripod, etc., etc. So um. The instructions on, on aligning this is it's really simple, really simple. Uh, all you have to do is just uh, find three bright stars in the sky, and then once you do that, then uh, the telescope will know exactly what you're pointing at, and it's actually going to tell you. Um, once you do that, uh, you can go ahead and uh, ask the telescope to put uh, whatever object in your eyepiece and it's going to slew uh, to whatever position you want it to. Once you're outside enjoying your telescope, enjoying your view and doing whatever you want to do out there, um, before you can actually see any stars, actually before you can align the telescope, it is very, very advisable to calibrate your telescope. When you first buy this telescope, you have to calibrate the telescope. It's going to figure out how much weight it's on the front and on the back of the telescope in order to point right to the right start and at the right time. So it's really easy. You go into the menu and then on the menu you go and scroll down until you find utilities and then with, within uh, utilities you go into calibrate go to. That's just how it's called. Uh, once you find that, uh, just press enter. It's going to actually uh, calibrate go to, press enter to, be, to begin. The telescope, what's, uh, what, what the telescope is going to do is just going to go up, down, sideways, one and, and, and twice, so that it's going to be calibrating itself. And then once it's done, it's going to do it, it's going to be all right for you. It's doing it by itself. Okay. Once it's done, it says calibration complete. Now you can align your telescope and you can um, go ahead and watch uh, your stars uh, at night. Once you calibrate your telescope, then you're good to go. You can align your telescope, you can go ahead and start watching objects and enjoying the sky. Uh, one thing that's really important is that you can attach your camera into your telescope. Actually, you can attach your a digital camera if you want to or actually you can attach a modified webcam this is a modified webcam of course it's got a little piece of the uh, um, um, of the eyepiece um, extender you put it in there and attach it to your computer through your USB and that will give you certain images that uh, actually and certainly are going to be really really nice um, Make sure that when you're doing uh, any kind of movements on the telescope um, with your uh, with your handy cam or digital camera, you do not touch the camera with your hands. Uh, what what I would recommend is that you use one of this. Of course, that's if you have a touch screen on your camera. Why? Because that way you can avoid moving your camera and therefore moving your telescope and, and causing some wobbling on the images that you're taking. Um, when you attach a camera that it's really heavy for the telescope, especially with this telescope, don't worry about it. It will, help, it will handle it. Uh, but you will have to do a calibrate go-to again because it's going to uh, regain the weight on the back of the telescope to see how long will it take to go into the next object and so on and so forth. Um, I believe that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I would uh, like you to place some comments here at the bottom on the screen. 
and if you want to subscribe that's good uh, that would be very very appreciated if you have any questions please uh, let, uh, leave your comments and I will try to answer those as uh, best as possible thank you see you guys